The month of November has just started and it's already so pregnant with tons and tons of stuff. So much happening in Africa. I know I did some years to dissect. Lots and lots of that for you. Don't go anywhere. We're starting this week's edition of the Diary Room Show with your favorite boy Karawa with CK. Yes, CK of Nigeria. We already know that Nigeria has been doing a lot of strikes this week. Yes, but one person that caught our attention a lot for most of the year is CK. Should I say thanks to TikTok or no? You know CK's song, Love Na Wan Ting Ting, whatever it means. Love Na Wan Ting Ting. I'm always really curious, but I think that it has something to do with love is really good. <laughs> yeah, the crooner of love now wanting to ck is now in the top 60 in the world as far as spotify streams is concerned having about 33 million monthly streams i mean that's just insane probably the very first african to actually be trailing among the top 60 spotify streams ck has been doing amazing as far as music is concerned yes he also recently teamed up with another artist to do the remix of the song and the visuals are art beautiful colorful and yes just an amazing expression of love uh-huh uh-huh going back to that little tiny part of central africa called cameroon there has been lots and tons of stuff happening as far as the atmosphere of entertainment is concerned. Should I say it's entertaining entirely? Of course not. There's been a lot of stuff that has been coming up as far as the Cameroon entertainment industry is concerned and it's not been funny at all. When I say not funny, I mean at all levels. We're starting off with Tenno. It is no longer news that you know that Tenno was in jail, right? Tenno was recently jailed. Why? Because of the accident that happened. It's one of the biggest shows in Central Africa, the Canado held in Douala. And one of the people who attended the show was Teno, of course. Did he just attend? No. Teno was also one of the people that won an award. He was present at the show with his girlfriend. What happened at the end of the show is that the internet went mad and crazy. Was it everybody? Of course not. But lots of people went online criticizing Teno for actually coming, showing up for the award, and not only showing up for the award, but climbing on stage, taking the award, and announcing that he has so many projects ahead. Many people found it really disrespectful, disrespectful to the family of the deceased. Yes, that passed away in the car in which he had the accident. Many people are saying Teno was wrong to show up for the Canal Door Award. I don't know what your opinion is or whatever it is that you think about this, but yeah, this is what the internet is saying. They are still disgruntled, angry with Tenor's team. They are saying Tenor's team has been very bad as far as PR is concerned from the very beginning of this situation till now. Letting him show up for the award is just sheer disrespect to the family of the deceased. What's your opinion? You remember how I mentioned that not everything that's been happening in our entertainment industry is actually entertaining, right? Because things have really been going south. Talking about people who are in jail, recently we got information that Krota, one of the legends and one of the big veterans in our entertainment industry as far as hip-hop is concerned, is also in prison. For what reason? Krota was jailed because of land dispute. The reason why Krota has been jailed is because the person who had this land deal with him claims that Krotal was involved in a fraudulent activity as far as this land was concerned. But is that what caught our attention? Of course not. The person in question who jailed Krotal is now asking for 1 billion CFA and I'm like, what boy? What? You're asking for what now? I mean, which land in Cameroon actually cost that much? 1 billion CFA? Are you trying to be like an airport or something, boy? I mean, just let our rapper come out. I know I dislike sometimes with our entertainers, and I don't understand what is really going on with all of our entertainers going to jail and stuff. Talking about people that have been taken to jail this year, we talk about Mr. Shine. In our last episode of the show, we made mention of the fact that Mr. Shine was caught in the town of Aqua in Douala and brutalized by unknown men. Now, this week, we got clarifications on this story as the mother of Mr. Shine came online and saying that the son was accused for stealing a vehicle and beaten and brutalized and taken to jail and she has the documents and she has sent the documents of the car that she bought for the son from wherever country she is in and up to now her son Mr. Shine has not been released. Yes, Mr. Shine is still in jail but things escalated this week as concerns this topic because Valsero, we already know that we spoke about Valsero a couple of months ago after creating and making one of the biggest shows that happened in France. 
inviting Cameroonia artists on stage. This time, Vassero came to react as far as this issue of Mr. Shine is concerned. And he went naming some artists and talking about hypocrisy in the entertainment industry. Lo and behold, he mentioned the name of the Mboko God. Yes, the crooner of Don For Quad and the boss of New Bell Music in the whole saga. Calling them hypocrites and stuff. And you already know, you already know. Should I tell you that Jovi does not know how to swallow some of these things? Jovi came online and said it and his starting statement was, Hey, Vazero, please don't ever mention my name in your mouth again as we expected. Jovi was very pissed as far as the situation was concerned. Not that Mr. Shine is in jail, but that his name was mentioned by Vassero and Vassero calling them hypocrites and stuff. This is what Jovi had to say as far as the situation is concerned. Vassero, be very careful when you mention me in your propaganda. Avoid my name when you want to position yourself as a lesson donor. We don't come from the same place. It's the day you were exposed to the lie that you knew the frustration of this system. We have been living in the dark for a long time. And the way the young English speakers used art to express themselves in this country is very remarkable. It's a hustle that's not at your level. One of the things that Jovi made mention of that caught my attention was the fact that he was telling Vassero that Vassero cannot be a lesson giver as far as this situation is concerned because even though Vassero is living abroad, he has been living in the situation. It's important for us to know that Vassero has also been a freedom fighter. Or should I say freedom? Is that what it is? Vassero has been much about the political state of this country for so many years. Yeah, but now he's recently talking to this artist and Jovi couldn't lay low because for the same reason, Jovi is trying to point Vassero's attention to the fact that they are living in distress and just the fact that he, as an Anglophone artist, is trying to put some French in his music just so that the Francophones can accept is already so much effort at his level. He also made mention of the fact that all the while when Vassero has been singing or doing posts on his social media platform, he has not for any single time made any of these posts or sang in English, but they, the English artists, keep doing this stuff and the hustle seemingly is double for them. I think that Jovi was very disgruntled about this thing. I mean, he ended the post with Mbutman. I caught a lot of attention of people. Man, let's talk about this for a second. It's important for us to know that in one of Jovi's albums, God Don't Come, he released a song. In that song, the song was titled Peace. Jovi was talking about the fact that he's not Anglophone and he's not Francophone. He made mention of the fact that he's just Cameroonian and he does not know where all of these hustles or where you're from is coming from. Do you remember that? Of course, if you do, because I do remember clearly. We're going to put the lyrics for you here. At that point of time, when this issue happened recently, many people came under the post and were saying that they don't understand why Jovi is talking back at Vassero because he did not stand in the whole idea of Anglophone problem in the first place. Because seemingly, they're saying that his lyrics kind of contradicted what he is saying because from the beginning, he did not stand with the fact that there was an Anglophone crisis. For me, I feel like these are two artists who are walking around probably talking for the same reason. However, I mean, why is Jovi angry? Is Jovi really angry that Vassero wasn't involved in the Anglophone crisis that is going on in our country or the fact that he called him a hypocrite? We want to know what your opinion is as far as this is concerned. Man, like I said, November just started, but <laughs> everything is just, I mean, we're just, it's so pregnant. It's like October gave birth to November. Yes, yes, we can't get enough of it. Recently, one of Cameroon's most decorated female footballers, one of the lionesses, or should I say ex-lioness, Enganamot Gael, recently came on social media to resign from her post as one of the managers of the female team. Yes, the lionesses. She came to resign and one of her reasons was the fact that she's being threatened by the president and it's not making her comfortable. She named a couple of situations in her press release when she put it out saying that she has been threatened severally and she does not think that it's going to be good for her to work under this president anymore. Just before we thought that everything was done and dusted and this press release was online and people came and they were hailing her, you are a strong girl, it's so hard to find people just resign from this kind of government and stuff. Before we thought that, everything was settling down. Some videos of Gael were released on social media suggesting that she was in a relationship with another lady. There were other videos that were posted that were putting her in a very compromising situation and revealing, yes, 
parts of her nakedness. Something that we can actually put out on our show. But yeah, many people are now beginning to suggest that this is probably one of the things that she was either blackmailed with or she noticed that these videos were out and she didn't want to be fired as a result of these videos. It is important for us to know that it's just been a few couple of weeks when Gael has been so involved with the marketing and the pushing of the can, making adverts, being involved in everything that is surrounding the African Cup of Nations that is going to happen in our country. And we don't know how this is going to happen, but one thing is for sure is that she has resigned. Yeah, I said it at the beginning. There's so much happening in our entertainment industry, but we don't know it's actually entertaining. Are you entertained? Well, talking about the ones that are entertaining, Lady Palms recently announced that she's finally gotten herself some nice good disc prize from YouTube. Yes, it's important for us to note that Lady Pons has finally surpassed the 100,000 mark on YouTube subscribers. In international news, we bring to you Jay-Z. Yes, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Recently, Jay-Z was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah first induction. Is that the only thing that caught our attention this week about Jay-Z? Of course not. Recently, Jay-Z decided to create an Instagram page. Again, we don't know if Jay-Z was the one who created this Instagram page. Before we were thinking about it, Jay-Z had already deleted the account. Lo and behold, the account doesn't exist anymore. We don't get how that is. Before we knew Jay-Z was coming to Instagram, the state was shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we had for you guys as far as this week's edition of the Diary Room Show is concerned. If you love our show and love what we're giving you everywhere, remember to click in the red button below and of course you know how it is so I always here to give you what's hot or what's not it's your ever smiling your favorite black boy Karawa Boy, they know the feeling Every time I drop, they say, boy, he made a killing Almost all the artists want, no one did a remix I am not surprised when I see him catching feelings Hard day, the boy chest Hard day, the boy chest the beat Man like this, if he may hit the song with any beat Boss on inside club, everybody dancing to the beat And when they finish, they say, DJ, put it on repeat Crying hey. hey. power, ain't that with fire hey. Tell him, made it come, this he know the tire Can't you the jump if a rap is on Oh, see for yeah, they happen now for hours Too many get to the bar, no Can't pay it, too early sell star, no Talk again if you sign this in a true talk You say that sign boy, scared I want a new talk